Hello and welcome to another Rambling Man Camp Food Taste Test or as this probably should be called Bovvy Food Taste Test because I'm here at the White Lagging uh, Bovvy in uh, Dumfries and Galloway and this is on the Southern Runway which I'm currently walking um, but what's on the menu tonight well, I'm afraid it's another gourmet delight from Travel Lunch if you saw my last review of theirs, uh, their Hungarian beef and noodles, not the greatest food in the world, will their pasta in a Napoli tomato sauce be any better? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to cook the confounded thing. Um, and if you're wondering, yes, I do actually have another travel lunch pasta in my bag, ready for another taste test. I bought three of them in one go. God, what a fool I was. Anyway, let's see how this one goes. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe we'll be awful. Let's see. Well, it's got to be said, looking inside, uh, it looks pretty much exactly the same as the Hungarian beef and noodles, which I've uh, already slated. Uh, one of the reasons I've um, gone for this was because I thought that at some point during my trip I might eat a few bits of. Uh, fruit and veg, and today I haven't had much fruit and veg for, some, uh, for various reasons. Um, as you can see, is there any fruit and veg in there? Well, apparently, uh, and if you can read this down here, 18% <clears throat> tomato. There's also herbs and whey product, spices and spice extracts. Wow. Incidentally, while I'm waiting for the kettle here to boil, uh, I think I should just show you this. I mean, this is a serious amount of Budweiser bottles and cans and all sorts. I don't know who these people think uh, is going to collect this rubbish, given if I show you out of the window, there's not much here. The only, you know, this is an unmanned bobby. If you ever want to come use a bobby, please take your litter home with you. Well, my kettle's just boiled, so I'm going to uh, pour in uh, about 300 millilitres of water, hot boiling water. Um, the actual instructions say to use uh, to do all this in the packet, and you can do that. Um, I've decided that it's kind of easier to eat out of a bowl. Uh, I'm just going to give this a quick stir. Oops. Da, da, da. Um, Although it would be easier for the uh, washing up if I didn't. The other thing the packet says is use 400 millilitres of water. I've found from the uh, the Hungarian beef and noodles that uh, it left it a bit soupy and saucy, so I've used a bit less. So I'm going to put the lid on there. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm going to leave that for about 5 10 minutes. So here we have the completed product, which uh, I can't help but think looks a bit like kind of tin spaghetti hoops. Um, hmm. It does taste a bit better than tin spaghetti hoops, though. Well, actually, quite a rich tomato sauce. The bigger problem is that um, I probably obviously didn't put enough water in, and some of the new the. Uh, pasta is slightly crispy. Um, well, let's see, anyway. So if you like your pasta crispy, <laughs> not too bad. Um, it's actually quite a rich tomato flavour, which I'm quite impressed about. Um, and just kind of feel vaguely it might be healthy. Um, would be really good with a bit of parmesan though. So the exciting travel lunch uh, pasta in a Nepal Napoli tomato sauce cost £4.35. <laughs> That's a bit pricey. However, it's only 125 grams. Hmm, nice. On the other hand, it does taste a bit like tin spaghetti hoops. And let's be honest, that's a lot cheaper. 